thank you Dark Red for your shout out on that guy's video. Um, I'm not necessarily going to go into some of his techniques. I'm going to give you a, a quick, quick little tease of what's coming out on my channel next year. So if you're new here, please do subscribe. Please do leave us a like and a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. Today we're going to go over a staff move. It is known as an isolation. So it looks like this. Which is another basic rotation, okay? So, how to do this, it's a lot simpler than it looks, okay? So, first of all, if you stand your hand off center on your staff, and you're gonna do one wrist roll. Okay, to do this wrist roll, yeah, it's a lot different from a nunchuck, okay? But it's very similar. So, you're gonna go here, as soon as you get your nunchuck, yeah, say 11, um, your staff at 11 o'clock, you're gonna let it go, and you're gonna catch it when the staff hits seven o'clock, okay? Because I'm using the clock in this to explain it. From here, what you're going to do, do you see your pointer finger here? You're gonna move that behind the staff. From there, what you're going to do is you're going to bring this around like so, okay? And from there, it's going to roll around your pointer finger, yes? So you're back in um, the first stage now, so you're gonna do exactly the same again. You're gonna move your pointer finger underneath the staff and you're gonna roll it like so, until you can get this motion going. Which is more of an infinite spin at the moment. So once you've got that, yeah, you're ready to move on to make it, uh, turn it into like an isolation move, yes. So that again is pretty simple. Um, once you've got this mastered, of course. So what you're going to do when you're doing that move, you're going to bring this around like so. So you're going to be basically making a circle with your hand, yes? So I'll show you, it looks like this, yeah? So if you notice, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm making a circle with my hand, yes? On exactly the same time as this, yeah, is going around this pointer finger. So we're gonna go here, one rotation, yes? We're gonna move our pointer finger underneath the staff. From there, what we're going to do is we're gonna, when it's rolling around that pointer finger, we're gonna move our hand, yes, in a clockwise motion, like so. So you've got from um, basically made half moon on the top, yeah? So you're gonna do exactly the same. You're gonna move your pointer finger below the stick and you're gonna continue that motion, yes? So like that. So until you get this motion here. Okay, so that's an isolation. Right, um, one move which he was doing, which I think was move number one. So it's like this. Yes. So that is basically known in freestyle word as a figure eight, mo uh, figure eight, okay? So what I'm doing, yeah, is if you concentrate on where your thumb is, yeah? So at the moment, my thumb goes from pointing up and I'm gonna move it behind my body like so. So I'll show you from a side on view. Look, we go from here and then we're going to bring it down here, yes? We're going to bring it over our elbow and back like so. Until you can get this motion. Pay, pay attention to where my thumb's pointing, okay? Because this is, the, this is thumb led. Go from here to here. Here, yeah. Keep an eye on that thumb. Make sure your hand is doing exactly the same thing, yes? So that is pretty simple. So that we will use as wheel plane, okay? So we're going to use windscreen plane or a uh, uh, wall, um, wall plane with this move now. So you can go from here to here, yes? So you go like this. So that is exactly the same as this motion here. Yeah, the only difference is, is I'm bringing it up. My thumb's pointing up, yeah? The moment your staff hits seven o'clock, you're going to bring this behind like so. So you're only doing like half a motion here behind you. So you go here, then here. Yeah, so if I show you um, side on, it's gonna look a lot different. Yeah, so I show you from here, you see? Don't do it side on because it doesn't really look that great. But when you're doing it this side, yes, it looks a lot better, all right? Um, I'm gonna cover one more. All right, so we're going to cover a, uh, it's, I think this is a, it's a sort of curve about, okay? So what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to make um, our palms facing down, okay? 
we're going to do one rotation. Bear in mind, when you start this year, you need to start it off centre, okay? So you're going to do one rotation like so. From there, yeah, you're going to put your palm out, okay? Your palm's facing down at this moment. You're going to make sure your palm is facing to the... If you're using your left hand, you're going to make sure your palm is facing to the uh, right side, okay? What you're then going to do is you're going to bring your staff down... And on the moment, share yeah, that you're going to put it on this hand, you're going to rotate your hand with the staff like so. Okay, so watch. Rotation. Wrist roll of me. From there, you're going to bring this underneath this hand and put it on top like this. When this is on top, yeah, you're ready to bring this hand down. And that will transfer the staff to your other hand. Okay, so watch. One wrist roll. On top on top grab okay from here yeah you can go to one of the previous moves which was the isolation um so yeah i hope this helps you right yeah remember to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again soon guys it's a bit off the cuff um as i said i had a comment on uh some some spinner who's doing some basic spins and i thought i would spice it up a little bit in this video and i hope you enjoy it thank you i'll see you again soon pow